Typically, uh, mid-level or senior level international development professionals come to me or find me when they're stuck. And they're stuck maybe in a couple different ways, but trying to figure out what's next for their career or their life. Um, some people have been in development for a number of years. Uh, perhaps they have worked most of their career in a certain kind of organization, let's say a bilateral donor, and they're thinking, hmm, maybe I should work for a nonprofit, should I go into consulting, should I try to work for a multilateral? So they're trying to figure out, you know, maybe I need to switch things up. There are also professionals who have spent a lot of time in the field, and they're asking the question, should I go home, back to my home country, closer to family, sometimes aging parents, sometimes kids that they're raising that they want to raise in their home country. So a lot of questions around location. It also goes the other way. There are some people who are in a headquarters or, or home office environment who are wondering, is this really the time for me to put myself forward for that overseas assignment? Coaching sessions are entirely confidential. So in a way, it's kind of behind a curtain and no one knows what's going on, but really it's a conversation. But it's a conversation like one you've never had before in the sense that the coach is professionally trained to listen and to ask questions. So it's really the coaching client who's doing what I call the heavy lifting. They're answering all the questions and they're, they're thinking through things, but the coach is asking them questions and guiding them to reflect perhaps in ways that have not occurred to them already. And so people often you know, come to these realizations, insights, or like aha moments in the context of a coaching conversation um, simply by entering into that space where they're willing to reflect and there's someone there as the coach who is um, trained to listen in a space with no judgment. The coach has no agenda. It doesn't matter to the coach whether you decide to move overseas or stay where you are, but they're there to guide you through your own reflection process and to help you bring out the answers that you actually have within you. I think the more that someone can be clear about what they want from the coaching process, the easier it will be for them to find the right coach for them, and the more likely it is that they'll have a successful outcome from that coaching engagement. So for example, if someone is feeling stuck and trying to figure out what's next in their career, then I might be a great ma match for that person. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I'm the best coach for everyone, but in that situation, that's really what I personally specialize in. People often seek out coaches to help them once they already know what they want, they need someone to help them craft their materials. So revise the CV, write a killer cover letter, maybe even helping them with some of their messaging in terms of networking and whatnot. And that's a different you know, expertise and it's a different kind of career coach. So being clear on what one is looking for through the coaching process will really help both parties. And again, with, with coaching, there's something of a, you know, uh, magical or, or uh, chemistry involved, you know? So um, it's very important, I would say, if someone's looking for a coach to interview that person, have a chat with them. You know, I offer people a no-cost Skype consult just for us to get to know each other a little bit, explore a little bit more what they're looking for, and see if we would be a good match. Because sometimes you just don't click with someone, and it's nothing that we take personally, but we really want to look for a good fit between the coach and the coaching client. And how long does a coaching relationship, I should say, last, or how long do you typically work with your clients? Well, it really depends on the nature of that coaching engagement and what they're looking for. Um, typically, if I'm working one-on-one -on -one with someone who's asking that what's next question, uh, the relationship is probably three to four months of coaching a couple of times a month. And a lot of the work of coaching takes place between the sessions. So the coaching session might bring up a lot of insights, but then it's between the coaching sessions that the client is really putting those insights into practice or kind of experimenting with them to see, is this the direction that I want to go? So that process could be three or four months. Um, I do have some clients I've worked with much longer than that, and that tends to be people that I happen to be working with on some of their leadership skills, management skills, soft skills. Um, that's a different kind of coaching, but also is taking place in the international development arena and is definitely needed.